Still, let's move on to our location report on the making of Ken Russell's new film, Gothic. Mr. Russell, of course, is the perennial enfant terrible of the movie industry, a brilliant filmmaker who arouses instant apoplexy with his cinema depiction of composers like Mahler, Liszt and Tchaikovsky. Mr. Russell is a man who likes to shock. He also likes hitting film critics over the head with rolled up newspapers, regretting only the fact that the newspaper doesn't contain an iron bar. Well, his latest picture depicts events that took place one summer in 1816 on Lake Geneva. There, gathered together, was a distinguished trio of literary figures. The poets Byron, played by Gabrielle Byrne from Defence of the Realm, and Shelley, portrayed by Julian Sands, last seen in a room with a view, and Shelley's future wife Mary, represented by Natasha Richardson. about uh, Byron and Shelley and their mistresses spending um, a cosy evening together, dreaming up horror stories and nearly um, wiping themselves out on drugs and terror. And winner of the competition was Mary, who uh, dreamt up Frankenstein. And it was based on, actually, um, some of the uh, facets of the personalities in the house including Shelley himself. If we can't... Again! Again! <laughs> People are going to say it's um, a pack of lies. It's well documented that um, they practically lived on opium. Within six years of this event, which was in May 1816, in Switzerland, on Lake Geneva, all the men were dead involved in that. Shelley, his biographer, and Byron, his biographer, Polidori. All the men were dead, and um, three more of their kids were dead. And the women were slightly out of their minds. To create ghost stories is nothing. A brief half-image of terror, quickening of the imagination. In the end, nothing. But to create a ghost. Mm. Isn't your theory that lightning can endow a lifeless being with life? Perhaps that same lightning in our minds can take lifeless thoughts. You are bored with poetry. No, obviously. sir, I'm bored with life. So am I. Let us see if we can't bridge the Stygian gloom, eh? I mean, if we can't, then... We can! It's an erotic film without a shadow of a doubt. And I also think that people who come expecting to see a conventional biography of the relationship between Shelley and Byron will be disappointed. Although it is... Um, based on, on, on truth, but it certainly, I think, will be controversial, as indeed you would expect with the Ken Russell film. It's a celebration of the fantastic in people, uh, and one goes with it or not. I mean, it's a firework display. Um, Shelley believed that he was a human lightning conductor, and trying to concentrate the fundamental forces of nature into his very being. These poets were, within their own sort of time, 1810 to 1820, they were renegades um, and, and, and dangerous people. Um, and I think that's the area which intrigues the, the writer and, and, and Ken Russell. Ken Russell worked with Vanessa Redgrave on one of his most controversial films, The Devils. He's now cast a daughter, Natasha Richardson, as Mary Shelley in this film. I can't help seeing her mother in her. I mean, I made The Devils, I didn't know. Him. 1971 or two, I think. So it's a good, good few years ago. But um, they, they have the same sort of laugh and the same sort of sense of humour, and um, they're both, I think, great actresses. But was Miss Richardson worried about working for Ken Russell, having seen the grueling performance he demanded of her mother? I didn't. I didn't think of it in those terms. I was thinking of it strictly in terms of this particular script and him as a director. My mother has. Um, nothing but praise for him as a filmmaker so it was nice to hear that from her in making up my mind about this one now how does ken russell feel about the film critics these days well we, we, they're gradually coming round. some of them after 50 years um i only get um two bad reviews out uh, two good reviews out of 100 instead of one so that's a great improvement if i live long enough might win them all over. Could I, could yeah, they, they treat all their geniuses bad. I always hope. Why should they stop with me? Look at Algar, poor devil. He had to be dead 50 years before he was recognised. Like the garden behind here. Right. 
Mr. Russell had no hand in the writing of Gothic. The original screenplay was by Stephen Folk. He feels, however, that he'll still be held responsible. People say they're my films, but they're, they're not. I mean, Crimes of Passion wasn't my script. Altered States wasn't, and this certainly isn't mine. But um, they'll be called, they're called my films, and I, I guess it's because I you know, bring, a, bring my own sort of warped gaze to bear on the, uh, the written word. I'm looking forward to bringing my own warped gaze to bear on Gothic when it opens at the London Film Festival next month. It's bound to upset somebody.